Hello, um, my name is John. I'm going to tell you why Go is a great O language. And I'm going to tell you this in four minutes with 73 slides. <laughs> so let's go. And let's start with Alan Kay. This is Alan Kay. If you don't know him, Alan Kay is one of the grand arms of computer science, a very important figure. He designed a lot of small talk, which was a very early and very influential O language. He was the guy that coined the term object oriented. If you want to understand OO programming, then Alan Kay is a great place to start. When we think about OO languages, we tend to think about Java or C++, but this is a mistake. Alan Kay thinks it's a mistake. He said, I invented the term object oriented, and I can tell you that C++ wasn't what I had in mind. <laughs> so is Go an OO language? Well, opinions are divided. But let me give you a simple answer. Yes. <laughs> Go is an OO language. And in my opinion, Go is actually a great OO language. Go is not a classical OO language. We don't have classes or inheritance or constructors. But that doesn't matter. Go is all the important elements of OO. In Go, every value is an object, although we don't tell to, tend to call them that. But these objects have local state, and they have behavior, and they have public and private access. But perhaps most importantly, Go supports messaging as a first-class concern. In Go, interfaces make our messaging explicit. We create types, and then we think about the messages we want to send to them. Go makes interfaces easy. So you focus on interfaces. That is, you focus on messaging without really noticing. It's a kind of accidental good OO practice. Isn't that nice? Thanks, Go. Go even supports asynchronous messaging using channels, but this isn't as easy. But these are the important elements of OO programming. It's not about classes. When asked to clarify OO programming, Alan Kay said, OOP to me means only messaging, local retention, and protection and hiding of state process. We're doing pretty well so far. And extreme late binding of all things. Oh dear, extreme late binding. Go doesn't like late binding. It's far too static. Go likes early binding. It wants to know everything at compile time. And also, Go is pragmatic. You can use procedural programming. You can use shared global state. You can use functions instead of methods, and so on, if that works for you. Go is opinionated, but it's not dogmatic. So I don't think Alan Kay would like Go, but that's OK. I like Alan Kay, and I respect Alan Kay, but I also like Go. I find that Go is a surprisingly great language. And in my opinion, Go is a surprisingly great OO language. So please, use Go to enjoy OO programming, but most importantly, use Go to enjoy Go programming, whatever paradigm it follows. Thank you.